Welcome to the AquaFlow Crypto Lab. I know that XRP has been showing some bearish signs in the market for a few weeks now. But don't worry, in this video, I promise you will understand exactly what's going on. So we are going to start with the big picture chart. Then we are going to dive into the channel chart. And in my opinion, this is one of the most interesting charts in this video. Why? Because it should trigger the next bull run. Then we are going to talk about the moonshot chart. And as you see, a big event is coming. I will share an update of the XRP bull bear index. Also a quick update of the XRP buy sell indicator. And the last chart of the day will be the cloud chart. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, let's begin. So by now, you should all know about this chart, about this big picture chart. But today, I want to focus on the bull bear band with the red, the orange and the green colors, because this is the indicator that gives us the most important pieces of information on this chart. So this band is very, very easy to understand. When we are below it, it's red. When we are inside it, it's orange. And when we are above it, it becomes green. And when we are below it, we use it as a strong resistance and we are in an official bear market. So when we are inside it, we are in a transition phase, right? And when we are above it and it is green, we are in an official bull market. And this is very important to understand. You know what? Let me remove all the indicators. So I will just keep, I will remove this one, then the band that is this one, I will keep this one and I will remove this drawing. Okay. So hide this way. It is very clean and we can focus on the band. So for example, let's take this zone here. We were in a bull market. The band was green, right? Then we started to penetrate the band, but we were not in an official bear market yet. So it started to turn orange, then up, then down. And from here, we were in an official bear market because we have a candle closing below the band. And starting from this point, we started to use this as a resistance. We went down, then up, and we used this whole red area as a strong resistance that rejected us multiple times to the downside. It was the same here. We penetrated the band, but at the end we got rejected by it and we went to the downside. Then here it was the exact same thing. And why am I explaining this? Because for the current situation, you need to understand how this band works. And then it was with this green candle closing with this entire body, right? With the entire body of the candle above the band that we were officially in a bull market. And despite the fact that we went down, we kept on using this resistance. So this green area as a support and we bounced from it. So indeed, it was very, very scary. But as you can see, we could trust the band and we moved up. Then in this bear market, it was the same. We penetrated the band and this candle was the first candle closing with the entire body of the candle below the band. And from that point, we started to use the band as a strong resistance again with multiple rejections to the downside. And now you will understand finally my point here in this current scenario, in the current situation, we penetrated the band, right? And we went above it. And with this candle closing above the band, we were officially in a bull market. So we knew that the band was supposed to be a strong support. And this is what we saw. First, we penetrated the band, the band became orange, right? But we bounced from the band to the upside. Again, we went up, so this was very good, but we couldn't hold the level and we went down again. And as you can see, we are using again the band as a strong port. 
And actually, this is the very first time that we are retesting the bottom of the band, as you can see, because since the breakout, we've been trending inside and above the band, but we never tested the bottom of the band, as you can see. And if we take a look at what happened in the past, here, we retested the bottom of the band with this candle. I can zoom in if you don't see it here, you see. So if I take this and you see we have a breakout, we went up, went down, we retested the bottom of the band. Then we went up and with the SEC sell off again, we pierced the bottom of the band before moving up. So I know that XRP looks very bearish, but I use my indicators for a reason. And I'm not going to lie, I'm very scared myself, but from what I can see, I can trust my indicators. And as long as XRP stays inside the band, we are good, guys. So if I display the bull market support again with the blue dots, the bad news is that currently we are trending below the bull market support with the blue dots. So this is pretty bearish. But as I said in my previous video, this is an indicator that I use on the 23 days time frame. And the next 23 days time frame will open on the 16th of February. So we will need to see if XRP is still below or will go above it after this date. Just to let you know, currently the current price of the bottom of the bull bear band is around 49 cents, a bit above 49 cents. To sum it up, currently XRP is stuck between the bull market support with the blue dots and the bottom of the bull bear band. In order to stay bullish, XRP needs to bounce from this level after the retest of the bottom of the band. And by next week, I hope that XRP will be able to go above the bull market support again. It would be very, very hopeful for the future. In this first chart analysis, I tried to be as clear as possible. But if you still have questions, let me know in the comment section. Now we can move to the next chart, the channel chart. So first, let's remove the regression line. So in my previous videos, I already explained what this chart is all about. And I said that we need to pay attention to two things. First, with the bull market support with the blue dots, because as you can see, this bull market support is stuck in this channel. Here, you see, this is the highest point of the blue dots. And here again, this is the highest point, right? And this is the same that I expect from XRP just right here. Here, you see that we have the blue dots penetrating the green area. And right now, we are just in the same phase with the blue dots penetrating the green area. And you see that when the blue dots penetrated the green area, at the same time, XRP was retesting the green area, right? And just after this, the bull run started. The second thing I want you to pay attention to is this yellow line, right? Because when the yellow line penetrated the green area again with this candle, it triggered the moonshot. And right now I have some good news to share because look, here we are about to cross and to see the yellow line penetrating the green area. The only bad news is that currently you see that XRP is below the bull market support, as I said it in the previous chart. And I know that it looks very scary because XRP is pretty bearish. XRP is about to cross maybe the green area, the green band, and this would not be a good sign. But I remind you that in this phase of the market in the past, we were in the exact same situation. XRP was very, very bearish. Nobody thought that XRP would have gone in this monumental bull market. On this channel, I try to stay level-headed as much as I can, but this makes sense. I will share other analyses. At least now you understand why I'm still hopeful for XRP. 
because in the previous bear market here when we were in this phase we were pretty bearish but at the end we had a wonderful outcome and a bull run that's why here i can still hope that xrp will be able to push and to bounce from this level and to have new highs now it's time to display the regression line and as you can see this is a wonderful line because we've been using this line as a strong resistance for multiple months guys it started from here you see with this bottom of xrp then we went up here again we used it as a support with a bounce and then we crossed it right then we have this entire bull phase we went down and then again it touched the bottom here during the sec sell-off it was a wonderful support very precise and very accurate and look again we touched it for this phase of the market during this bear market right and this is actually our most recent bottom and after this event you see that we kept on using this line as a strong support for multiple months in a row and in my opinion this is the final test because this is a wonderful confluence point between the bull market support and the regression line in white you can see that both lines are crossing right now you see the white line crossing the bull market support with the blue dots this is wonderful because the price is exactly at this confluence point and this is not a coincidence this is the opportunity for xrp to bounce from both levels at the same time and in my opinion this looks like a wonderful final test before a moonshot of course i'm not 100 percent sure that xrp will go up that's why we need to track what will happen with the bull market support with the blue dots with the regression line and with the green band that you see just right here i know that this is a lot to digest but at least you understand why we are in a critical situation right now because this is exactly what was going on when we were there and that's why xrp needs to stay strong above these levels to be able to go up i hope it's clear we can move to the next chart the moonshot chart for the reminder this indicator is available on my website so you can check the description of the video if you want more information about it to keep it simple we don't want the yellow line to cross below the green line that we see just right here because as you can see when this happened when we were there this was the beginning of this entire bearish phase so on this chart this is very important you see that the cross that we had just right here triggered this moonshot right then we went down it was very very scary and the yellow line started going down also but at the end the price went up to prevent the yellow line from crossing below the green line and that's why if we want to stay in the bull market with this indicator xrp needs to go up to prevent the cross again so far the area is still green and the yellow line is still above the green line which is good but if we want to stay in a bull market according to this indicator we need to see the exact same thing that we saw just right here in this bearish phase we need the price to go up in the future weeks to prevent the cross from happening it would not be the first time that it happens so it's still possible and so far xrp didn't make a new low what do i mean by that as you can see we have higher lows we keep on making higher lows from xrp meaning that we are still in an uptrend so this chart confirms that currently we are in a critical phase because if xrp don't start going up in the future days and future weeks we will have an issue we will have a cross and it would be bad for xrp in my opinion at, or at least according to this indicator that's why we'll track on this channel what will happen with this indicator in the future days or weeks 
Now we can move to the next chart, the bull bear index chart. This chart is very clean and straightforward. As you can see, we have the string line with the red dots and the green dots showing bullish phases and bearish phases of the market. And then we have the XRP bull bear index showing percentages of bearish signs, neutral signs and bullish signs. Currently, the situation is exactly the same as last week. I remind you that I use a 23 days time frame. And as you can see, we've been trending below the string line for a long time now. Because last week it was already the case, we were below the line and that's why the line turned red, okay? So look, in the past it was green during the bull market, then we crossed it and it turned red. And when it turned red, we stayed in a bear market for a long, long time, using the line as a strong resistance, right? Then it turned green. We used it as a support and it was wonderful during this entire phase during this bull market. Then we crossed it again with this candle in turn the red. We knew that we were in a bear market and we went down with this low. Then we went up, resistance, cross, right, breakout and we used it as a strong support for multiple weeks. And we have this candle, right? Because with this candle, the previous one, we closed below the line, which was a pretty bearish sign. But here it was the same thing, right? With the SEC sell-off, we closed below the line. But with the next candle, we closed above it, meaning that we didn't have any body, any candle body closing below the line. This is very important. Here it was the case, we have the entire body below the line. Here we have no entire body below the line, right? So here, if the candle closes below the line, we would have the entire body of the candle below the line. And that's why I think that this would be very bearish. As I said, the next 23 days candle will open the 16th of February. So in order to stay bullish according to the string line indicator, XRP needs to go above the string line and to close above 54 cents. We'll know more next week. And also on the XRP bull bear index, nothing has changed as you can see because here we still have five red dots. This is a lot during a bull market. But to know the final percentages and the final colors, we need to wait for the close of the candle. And I hope, I really hope that by next week, XRP will be above the string line and this will turn white again. We can move to the next chart, the XRP buy sell indicator. It will be very quick again. We have the string line. We already know about it. Okay. So here you see that we had this indicator with the one and we knew that we needed to go down. This is exactly what we did. And right now we are trending below the string line, but there is no new sell or buy signal because the last one that we had was with this one. And it, and it was actually very accurate because at the end it turned the market into a bearish scenario. That's all for this chart, nothing new. We can move to the next chart, the cloud chart. I remind you that on this chart, I use also a 23 days time frame, meaning that we will know more next week. And currently we have a very scary situation because look, here during this phase of the market, we always closed inside or below the cloud. You see it with this candle. This was a breakout candle. We closed above it. Then, then we went down. We used it as support for multiple weeks in a row, right? Always closing inside or above it. And for the very first time with this candle, we closed way below the clouds because as you can see, the cloud is around this area. So around 58, right? 58 cents and we closed around 52 cents. 
So in order to stay bullish, according to the cloud indicator, XRP would have to go all the way up and to close above 59 cents. This is huge, but look, in the past, with the SEC sell-off, it was very scary just right here also, but at the end, what happened? Despite the fact that it was scary, we went down all the way down and then up to close inside the cloud, as you can see. And this was still a bullish sign, a bullish sign. So to sum it up, I know, I know guys, it looks scary, but we still have some hope. And XRP has one week left to show some magic. And we will track every step of it on this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That's all for today's video and as always, time will tell.